Hey guys, it's Miss Everything Random here, and I'm back to do my uh, LASIK update. Now, I did have it done on Friday. Today is Monday. I did wait a little because um, I just had other things going on. But um, I do want to report that I am doing this without contacts in or anything. Uh, it was successful. I have no side effects. There's no complications. Um, I can see 2020 now. Now, before I had the surgery, um, they, of course, they do all these tests and um, see what your power is and see how you see um, beforehand. And they told me that even with glasses, I was not seeing 2020. They said, uh, since that's the case, I will probably not be able to see 2020 after the surgery. So I went in there a little, a little down because I was just going to see as well as what I saw with my glasses. But after the surgery, um, they had, uh, I was in the recovery room and everything, and they checked to make sure I started healing already, because it's, it's a process, it goes so quick, and the little fleck that they cut on your eye, it already starts to heal before you leave the office that day. Um, but I went back the next day, at, just to do a checkup, just to see that everything's healing alright, and to see how I saw, and um, I took the little reading the little letters and I actually read 2020 so I am proud to announce that I do see 2020 now um, now with LASIK a lot of people hear horror stories and um, about side effects so I want to just let you guys know what I'm going through um, with that so the first day the very first day I got it done I was supposed to come home and sleep for about five hours. You're supposed to rest your eyes, keep them closed for five hours just so the healing can um, really progress. So I did that and when I woke up I could see, I could see well, I could, like there was no uh, double vision, there was no blind spots, there was no blurriness. Um, I could see. I saw everything clear. There was no double vision. There was no like halos or rings or spots, nothing like that. Um, it was a little cloudy, like think of having your contacts in for too long and they start drying out. It was like that. Um, my eyes were really dry. Now I've never had dry eyes before. They say if you don't, you will have dry eyes after the surgery of course because they take a laser to your eye but it will clear up. Um, but my dry eyes, they were not bad and they're still a little dry every now and then. You have to keep putting in your eye drops, just normal eye drops just to lubricate the eye. Um, every couple hours but that's really the only side effect I had it was a little cloudy on the first day now uh, on the second day let's see when I went to go actually get my checkup the day after my eyes they were feeling a little better there's no pain involved there's just a little dry you feel the dryness you feel like you had contacts in for too long and they're stuck in your eye and you got to take them out but you can't that's kind of how it feels um, so that's really the only side effect I had. Now on the very first day, that night, I was reading some subtitles on the TV and they did have a little like halo around it, but that was normal, she said, and that's cleared up. I don't have that anymore. It's Monday and I had it done Friday, so it's been a couple days. Um, my healing is, um, progressing still, but other than that, I really, I haven't had any side effects. Um, so it's it's amazing to me that it took about 30 seconds per eye and then I could see. Um, we do have video. My husband, he actually recorded me the very first time I got up off the table and they, they walk you across the room and they say, read the clock and it's all the way across the room just to make sure that it went successful um, through your vision and I did. I walked across the room, I could read the clock. It was a little blurry but, but um, that's because they put like this gel in your eye right after just so it can start the healing but I saw it I saw the doctor when I stood up off the table we have that video so I'm gonna try to include it here for you guys um, now we weren't allowed to record the actual process but we kinda did on the slide so if I can I'll put a little bit of that in there too and then um, I do have a short interview <laughs> my husband took of me after while I was in the recovery room it's um they turn all the lights off there's just very little light they tell you to close your eyes and keep them closed the entire time 
so he was just recording me I had my eyes closed but he was asking me exactly what I went through like as soon as it happened so you guys will get to see that too I'll put that in here just so you know a little about the procedure and what I felt going through it um it's just it's no pain I didn't feel pain at all of course they numb your eyes they gave me a volume to calm down um, but it was it was very quick I was extremely nervous <laughs> when I first went there and I was nervous as soon as I laid on the table and while it was happening because you're awake through it but like after I'm just I'm so thankful that I did it now I do have some red I don't know if you guys can see but there is some uh, blood in my eye it's kind of like you uh, pop a blood vessel it kind of feels like that it's a little pressure in there but um, that's just it's called bruising they call it bruising it's just like a normal bruise on your body but it's on the eyeball um, it will clear up they said give it about a week because however long it takes you to clear a bruise up on your body it's the same um, so that'll go away and right now I see everything I can see um, it's just amazing I can see I don't need classes I don't need contacts I see 2020 right now um, no side effects no halos now I haven't drove at night yet and a lot of people say um, they do see halos and starbursts or whatever when they drive at night so I can't um, tell you how I see at night right now but I will let you know when I do drive in the dark um, but so far everything is fine no side effects um, now the dryness it is a little annoying and the eye drops are horrid you have to take them like some of them you have to take four times a day, some just two, and then you take your normal just lubricated eye drops as long as you have dry eyes. So uh, the only bad thing about the eye drops they prescribe you is that one of them you can actually, when you put it in your eye, I don't know how it does it, but it comes down and you can taste it in your throat and it is terrible. I, uh, I can't stand it. but. The eye drops do help the healing process and avoid infection. Now, uh, for girls or women, you cannot wear makeup for a week. After you get it done, you can't wear it that day, nothing like that. So that's why I have no makeup on. But um, other than that, you just want to be careful. You do have to sleep with these crazy goggles on. Um, that's just to avoid rubbing your eye and moving the flap, and you just keep that for the first week. Now, I think she said... Um, after the first couple of days, you don't have to worry about the flat moving unless there's like um, hard impact on your eye. You want to avoid any kind of any kind of attack to your eye. You don't want to do sports or physical activity that your eye could get um, potentially hurt. You want to avoid all those for a while. Um, they did tell me it will take three to six months for the complete heal of my eye and to be able to know exactly what I'll see by the end so I will be updating you guys on that um, I do have an appointment coming up Wednesday but yeah I mean right now everything went perfect um, and the first night I got it done and while I was trying to go to sleep that night I just I kept opening my eyes and looking around the room and even though it was dark I could see I like without my glasses I would just look and it just be like shades of dark everywhere but now I open my eyes and I can see everything. I can see the crisp lines of my dresser, the couch, everything. Um, I can turn over and look at my clock. Now it's the little things that uh, people without glasses or contacts they just don't understand. They don't. They take for granted their vision because it's the little things that that matter. I can actually turn over and look at my clock and be able to see it. Now usually I would either have to get extremely up close like leaning over my bed um, to see the clock or I'd have to fish for my glasses but now it's as simple as just turning over. Um, also another thing I noticed that I told my husband about it and he just he was blown away because it's just amazing to him that I can actually uh, I told him I can get in the shower now and you know when you get in the shower you can't wear glasses blah 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 but I get in the shower and I can actually see my shampoo and conditioner. I can see which one is which. Before, without my glasses, I would have to pick up a bottle, hold it real close like this to be able to see which is which. But now it's like a no thought at all. I just look up, pick the bottle, and use it. It's amazing. Um, I recommend LASIK surgery after you do a lot of research about what doctor you're going to go to. Um, that does matter. 
So the doctor here in Atlanta was fantastic. So if you're anywhere down here, I would recommend going to TLC Vision down here in Atlanta. They were wonderful and um, I will be making more videos to update you guys as I go along just to let you know if any side effects do come or, or um, anything like that. If my vision decreases or anything, I will let you guys know. But so far, everything is good. Um, I see 2020 and it was totally worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the interview that we had right after my surgery and just to show you guys me getting off the operating table, being able to look across the room and see. Um, if I can, I will try to edit the little clips I had of what my LASIK surgery actually looked like. We kind of got sort of a close-up of my eye and the laser going in. So I'll try to edit that. If not, sorry. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll get around to answering all of them. And if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because you'll be up to date with my updates for the LASIK surgery and I got all kinds of different videos coming. So go ahead and subscribe now and I will see you guys next time. Bye. has had LASIK. <laughs> she can see. <laughs> oh my god. She's got him close. Minutes. <laughs> Very good. All right, so give me give me details of. Did you feel the the flap getting cut? No, I didn't feel it getting cut. I felt when they smoothed it back over, like I could feel them smoothing it, but it didn't hurt. But you feel it getting back over. Your eye wasn't moving at all. What were you looking at? Um, it's a flashing orange light, but it kept getting blurry and it kept moving. There'd be like two of them, so I didn't know which one to focus on just because my eye was like being worked on. So, like, I, I thought my eye was moving trying to follow the light. It looked perfect. It didn't look like your eye moved at all. Really? You know how the videos are? It looked just like that. You. When they uh, cut your eye open, I saw the blood drip out. I was like, oh man, did she feel that? And no, you, I didn't feel that. I was looking at, at your feet. Your foot didn't move at all. I was like, what? All I felt was of whatever they put on my eye. The clamp to open up your yeah, eye? Yeah, like, and they put a suction cup thing. But no, I felt that. That's what I felt. The whole thing. It was kind of uncomfortable. Now, uh, pain. On a scale of 1 to 10, you just had LASIK surgery. Tell me what the pain felt like on a scale of 1 to 10. There wasn't pain. It wasn't painful. It was just uh, pressure. You felt the pressure of your eye being clamped open. Like, you can feel yourself blink, but it wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't working. Like I couldn't close my eyes, so I you had to keep completely still. I was really afraid of okay. moving. But all I thought of was, if you move, that's no one in his life. So <laughs> just stay still. <laughs> okay. And now the most important question: What was it like the first time you opened your eyes and you had LASIK surgery? Uh, surreal. Details. Uh, like, I could see everything, and usually when I'm walking around with all my glasses on, everything looks blurry and stuff. I mean, it's still blurry right now because of the gel they put in my eye. They say my vision's going to be blurry, but it's blurry good. Like, I can see still. It's just everything's blurry. Like, my eyes have, like... So, even with the gel in your eyes, you saw better than you did without glasses before? Absolutely. I saw you look at the nurse, and I was... Because I could see features. You could see her face? And I went across the room and I could, the clock was blurry, but it was clear. It was a clear blurry. It's hard to explain. Like, uh, you know how you look at things when you have tears in your eyes? Yeah. It's kind of like that. 